Hi, this is Paul Epstein from Twist and Shout Records, uh, and I want to introduce you to a new feature we're going to be doing in our uh, weekly news uh, email newsletter. It's a um, feature called Tales of the Wall, and in this feature I'll be picking out different items that are on the walls here at Twist and Shout and talking about them and telling you a little history on them and uh, where they came from, how I got them, etc., and uh, any interesting facts about them. So hopefully this will be a, an interesting thing uh, on a regular basis that you can tune into and learn about all the cool stuff on our walls. All right, first episode of Tales of the Wall and we are going to do a really iconic and special piece, probably the piece I've been asked about more than anything else here at Twist and Shout, and it's the Bruce Springsteen Marquee. This uh, item came from uh, the September 19th, 20th, and 21st 1978 shows at the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey. These were Bruce's 29th birthday shows, and uh, they were broad, or at least the 20th, I think, was broadcast um, on the East Coast on radio and became a really famous bootleg called Peace de Resistance which is considered one of the all-time great Bruce shows. In fact, these, these, this weekend of shows was considered um, kind of like the pivotal weekend in Bruce's career where he um, went completely uh, global or at least national and went from being a, a regional East Coast star to being just a gigantic star. He had already been there, but you know these these shows were even more so with the broadcast. It just got more and more attention. the The tale of this particular item is, uh, I it, came, it, it after it came down off the Capitol Theater, there were two sides to the marquee. One went to Bruce Springsteen. One went to John Cher, the promoter. Um, Cher's apparently went into the mists of time and nobody knows where it is. Springsteen donated his to the uh, Asbury Park Music Hall of Fame, which then went out of business at some point. Uh, and at that point, the, the people who ran that put it on eBay and auctioned it off. And a guy named Elliot, who's a huge Springsteen collector and a good Twist and Shout customer and lives here in Denver, purchased it at that point and I found out about it from him quite a few years ago and he's kind of been dangling it over me for quite a while and I kept saying Elliot why don't you just put it in the store and then you can come look at it and, and but he finally said no I'm ready to sell it and a couple two three years ago he sold it to me and I it now sits up above the vinyl counter here at Twist and Shout and um, we lit it up so that it, it, it stands out a little more um, it's in a book called Light in the Darkness, which is about Bruce Springsteen's Darkness at the Edge of Town tour. Uh, and um, in that book it talks about the history of it and says it ended up at a store called Twist and Shout. And so it, it's got the provenance there. Uh, it's really a great piece. I love it. I love that uh, image of Bruce. I, it's got the classic uh, lineup of the E Street Band that took him from cult to gigantic and um, it's a really great piece I, I, I really love it and I can't really think of anything else to tell you about it but come in and see it and I'll see you next week on Tales of the Wall <laughs>